What are your thoughts on the TCU defense? Uh, you know, very well coached group. You know, uh, Coach Gillespie does a great job. Uh, they run to the football. You know, they're long, they're athletic. Um, you know, and, and they know, uh, you know, their scheme, you know, and, and uh, you know, a little bit of a, uh, at times, you know, a bend but don't break type unit. So, uh, you know, execution is going to be important. Sustaining drives is going to be important, especially when we, uh, you know, cross the 50, you know, being able to get in the end zone. Their scheme, the three three five. how is it similar and different to maybe K-State and other programs running that in the Big 12? Yeah, you know, they'll, uh, they're playing a little bit more cover two, you know, out of it. Um, you know, uh, probably, you know, a little more than what our guys do, um, you know, but then they'll, you know, then they'll switch on you and, and, and play a lot more man, you know, in, in some situational type stuff. So it's, um, you know, it'll, it'll be a good challenge for us. Again, I think uh, it does help our guys are used to the pictures of at least knowing who who's who and, and where they line up to to get some of those keys and tendencies. How do you think DJ Giddens handled uh, the fourth quarter of that game at Iowa State, running and helping you guys run out the clock? Uh, I was so proud of him. I mean, he you know he stepped right up and and ran the ball hard, protected the football. Um, you know, I, I think he continues to get better and better. Uh, you know, as as the season is gone and and getting. Uh, big time carries and in, in crucial moments like that is, uh, I know it'll and and I know it has and will continue to build his confidence and and uh, you know it'll be it'll be really good for us. What's in Tulsa scheme from what Gillespie has done or six games enough of a pattern? Uh, I think six games is a good sample. I mean, we have looked at you know looked at some and and it uh, it matches up. He's he's consistent. We're off a of bye week. You guys are in practice this week. Do you notice a little bit extra pep in the step from the recovery process, having a week off? No, it was it, it was good timing for us. You know, I mean, definitely. Uh, you know, I feel like uh, even as the week has gone on, kind of uh, after they got some time off last weekend to to kind of get the motor going a little bit has has been good. And uh, you know, excited to see him go again. Coach, I think your top three receivers have only topped 100 yards once or twice this year combined. Can you describe just what kind of production you need from Malik, Phillip, and Kate to have the offense move through the air? Yeah, I mean, it's it's on everybody. You know, I mean, the, the passing game for it to, to be what it, you know, needs to be and, and what we want it to be is, you know, it's, it's going to take everybody, you know, and it's, uh, you know, on all three levels. And uh, But those guys are doing a nice job. You know, again, I think our continuity has improved, you know, over the last uh, couple of weeks and something we got to keep moving forward. Do you look for those big plays and you hit two of them against Iowa State? Obviously, Malik had the fumble and the touchdown to Phillip, but is that something that throughout the week you see, hey, here's something we could take advantage of? We knew we were going to have some chances on third down because they were going to play us in whether four or cover zero and basically leave guys you know, in man-to-man -man coverage, worried about quarterback run, worried about some more conservative calls, and, and we knew it was something that we wanted to do was be aggressive and, and try to create a couple big plays in those down and distances, and it worked out. Like the Martinez Deuce Vaughn duo has really helped this team this year. Oh man, I mean it's, <clears throat> I mean it. Uh, uh, obviously, the, you know they they put a lot of stress on people. Um, you know, and there's times that, you know, even you're watching tape and you'll see, uh, you know, whether he Adrian keeps it or gives it. You know, depending on how they decide to fit it and where they're going to go, you see guys kind of do double takes. You'll see a safety start to track one that doesn't have it and then react. And even just that much with those guys is the difference between five or 50 sometimes, <laughs> you know. And so it's 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 a it's a huge deal. And uh, but again, it, it takes everybody. And, and we've been able to, uh, you know, create some big plays with both those guys. After Malik fumbled in that game against Iowa State. Was there more of an emphasis placed on trying to get him the ball and, and really trying to keep him in the game and keep, get him going? Oh, I, I was I was proud of how he responded. And, and you know, we, we were trying to and knew he was going to uh, be involved and, and carry some load for us, you know, uh, you know through the game. And, uh, you know, how he responded and came back, obviously he was uh, very upset with himself. But, you know, he, he jumped right back on the horse and, and – uh, uh, you know, our guys were all, you know, very, very positive, encouraging, and, and nobody panicked. You know, and understand that yeah, you never want bad things to happen, but sometimes bad things are going to happen, you know, and, and being able to, to push through those things and, and still operate and compete was, uh, was, was really proud of them. 
your experience on blitz pickups, is that something that needs to be identified before the snap happens, or is that something that needs to be identified as the play's going on from your, your whole offense? Uh, it's, it's a little of both. I mean, there's definitely certain tendencies uh, week to week that you're able to know before the snap what's going to happen. Um, you know, sometimes you're not going to be able to, you know, and, and uh, you know, whether it's a pre-snap recognition and being able to adjust it to, to get our back out or if it's something that he's going to get used up, you know, based on a post-snap situation, uh, you know, uh, everyone's got to be on point and, and trust their keys. Uh, if it gets adjusted or if it doesn't, we roll it. How hard is that to teach like when guys are sending delayed blitzes? We you? spend a lot of time at it, and it's it's hard on guys up front. It's hard on backs, and, you know, you, you put a, a guy in a zero nose or you move him to a shade, it could change the call, and then it changes how everything all fits together. And so it's, it's something that, you know, uh, Obviously, we spent a lot of time at, but our, our guys and our backs have really done a great job, uh, you know, in, in that part of the game. How deep is your gadget play bucket? Say that one more time. How deep is your gadget play bucket? <laughs> uh, you know, uh, we, you know, we got some more, but uh, <laughs> you know, I, I want them to get more than eight yards, though. You know, <laughs> but it's been three games since. You know, and Coach Kleiman told Adrian to cut it loose. How have you, uh, what, what, how have you felt about how he's kind of handled that since, since that time? No, I, I think he's done a tremendous job. I think our, our offense is, uh, you know, again, rallied around him and, and each other of just, again, continuing to get better, you know, and, and you know, like in Coach's words, cut it loose, not being afraid to make a mistake, but but trying to be aggressive and, and making plays and, and uh, while still, you know, he's done that and still let the game come to him, you know, which is, is something that you, you got to be able to do. And, and uh, you know, I, I'm super proud of him. And, and I think, again, our our best football is still ahead of us. We know that and, and uh, that's the exciting part. He hasn't been afraid to make a mistake. Uh, but yeah, he still hasn't made that mistake. Still hasn't thrown an interception. How impressive has that been from your perspective? Uh, you know, very much. But at the same time, you know, he he does a, such a great job of studying and and understanding pictures, and and he's done a great job, you know, in, in our time together of playing what he sees. And so you're not guessing, you're not forcing, you know, that type of thing. So, uh, but you know what? I mean, sometimes that's going to be the cost of doing business, and and, and we just have to. Again, move through it. If if something does happen, that hey, that doesn't. It's not going to change. You know how I don't want it to change how he goes about anything or or how we would go about anything. And and uh, you know ultimately doing whatever we got to do to to win the football game. Reliable as Martinez's uh, football IQ. Uh, it's impressive. I mean, it's impressive. You know, there were some things even in that last <coughs> Iowa State game that we were doing some things with some play action protections and. And, you know, there were twice in particular come to mind that, you know, I mean, he, he saw, saw the blitz, adjusted the protection, kept the route on, and, and was able to, to, to distribute the football. And, you know, anyone that didn't know what was going on may not have even known, you know, what was going on, you know. And so, uh, again, but he studies it, he works at it, and, uh, you know, he's, uh, uh, he, he's, uh, he's special. Have really been blitzing you guys coming after you a little bit. Is finding more answers f against the blitz still something you're trying to accomplish? Oh yeah, you know I, I think it's uh, <clears throat> you know there's and some of those are run and pass answers. You know I mean it's you know regardless of um, oh I guess depending on the situation and, and what kind of blitz it is, what formation, personnel, down and distance, all those things. I mean there's some things that uh, you know if you're able to get it dialed and then greased and all of a sudden you know that's where a 60 yard run comes for deuce in texas tech as you catch them in that blitz that you know we're playing cat and mouse a little bit and all of a sudden you get them and it's it's a huge play or it's a you know a, a pass scheme they're in a zero coverage and and you know their guy gets picked off on a deal and all of a sudden you, your guy's open you get a huge play so it's uh you know but again it's 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 every level has to do their job in whatever situation it is and and, uh, and looking for big plays in those situations. TCU's offense on the other side, I think they're third in the country in points per game. Obviously, you have trust in your defense, but is there any emphasis on trying to control the clock or just score, obviously, you know, maybe try and match them with points? You know, I, I think it's, uh, it's a game-by-game -game deal. I mean, we're, 
you never go out and at least I don't look at it this way. Oh, we have to score 14. You got to score 20. You got to, you know, it's like, hey, we want to score as much as you can every week. Um, you know, and how you do that is going to be different. Situations in the game are going to be different. And ultimately, all of us just keep in that competitive mindset of, hey, we got to, hey, this drive, this play, and, and ultimately just find, find a way to get one more than they do.